Last section we're looking at here, this is our drain pipe from the sink. There's a lot of little parts that are here and organized in the tray below. You'll see attached to a 2x4 is a pipe sticking out. This 2x4 represents the drain pipe sticking out of the wall. On the bottom of the sink, there should be a threaded collar here. And from the top side, that's where your water is draining out through here. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is put all this stuff together. Now to do this, I'm going to start off with my down pipe here. Now this is going to be a straight pipe. When you have a metal thread, you typically are going to connect a metal knot. Now the order of how these things go together is important. The down pipe here has this edge on it and it catches inside this ring here. So if I slide this through, it catches together. Now you're going to want to have a crush ring in here as well. And this one kind of has like a sharp edge to the inside of it. This is the one you want. That rests right inside this collar here. Let me show you like this. Then all that threads to the top. The next part I'm going to deal with is the part coming out from the drain pipe. And that's going to be so. Now experience tells me that I need to put on first one of these nuts here and then I'm going to put on another one in the opposite direction like so and then I need to put on one of these rings now this is tapered the end of this pipe is going to stick into this pipe here so I want to show you this tapered fit I want to show you how that goes together so I'm going to put on this ring and look carefully how these two fit together that ring is a compression ring and it just it seats right in there those the angles of this part and this part meet together and then when you bring this together and you tighten that knot it wedges that ring in between those two creating that watertight seal if you put this on backwards grab the mop bucket because you're going to water all over the place it's important that's the right way so again, this would be sticking here. I take all this, lot it together, and I'm going to thread, but I'm not going to tighten that. I don't want it tight yet. The last part to this is the trap. The purpose of the trap is to hold water at this length, at this height, so sewer gas doesn't come back out through the sink. That'd be very disgusting and smelling. So the having water here prevents gas from coming up, but I have no way to thread these two together. So I need to slide up a nut first, then I need to slide up a compression ring. Make sure the compression ring is aimed down because it will match the taper that's right here. Thread that together, slide these two so they line up, thread this together. Once all the pieces are lined up and all the threads are started then it's time to kind of push this together push these in as far as they'll go and then you can tighten these up by hand you don't have to go crazy tight but you should tighten them once you have it locked together like it shows you there in the picture call us over so we can mark you off all right thanks